I woke up on day four of trying to build a 100 game PlayStation collection in one week feeling unstoppable. Not only had I knocked a ton of games off the list the previous day, but I ended the day with $197 in my PlayStation game budget. And what I'm even more excited for today is I'm gonna be joined by easily the worst reseller on YouTube. And there he is, folks. Is Best reseller on YouTube. Ah, I have no doubt I think. that <laughs> Harry Tornado is here with me today. I think you guys reselling prowess is going to be very helpful today. Before we leave and film your video, which by the way, if you guys want to see that, check out his channel. You want to see where my progress is on the PlayStation Absolutely. project? So these are the games that we have so far. Yeah, on our on our little mobile shelf. And what's more, I have my arts and crafts project. Those are the games we have. These are the games that we need today. And he's going to take us to all the best video game stores in Colombia. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> all right, let's do this. All right, Josh and Haley, we are here at Software Seconds. I've got 197 PlayStation dollars to spend. Our goal is to find the best games for the cheapest prices. Let's do it. All right. All right, so here are a few games that I know are on my nostalgia list that I don't have yet. Tigger's Honey Hunt, The Smurfs, Disney Magical Racing Tour. So if we can find any of those, I'll be thrilled. I think they are maybe in alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be too hard. All right, looks like, okay, we got 10, Tomorrow, ooh, Tarzan. Well, I'm unfortunately not seeing any Smurfs or Tigger, but Qbert at 10 bucks seems like honestly a pretty solid deal. Ooh, Cubix is a nostalgic one too for five. I might go ahead and do that. Definitely one of the coolest GBA reshells I've seen for sure. Well, Josh, I'm not having any luck with the list games, but can you help me pick out something that is cheap? Cheap. Yeah, that looks fun. We got SpongeBob SquarePants, Super Sponge. Okay, how much? It, ooh, 13? Yeah, I'm a SpongeBob man. Dora, 12.99. I feel like there's gotta be some. Oh, here we go. Die Hard Trilogy. Oh Die yeah. Hard. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Or Dinosaur. Oh, Dinosaur for sure. You like Dinosaur. I'm a sucker for the Disney games, Dragon yeah. Tales? I'll stick with Dinosaur, I dinosaur. like that one, yeah. Okay. So folks, we spent $25 on three pretty nostalgic titles here. I'm honestly pretty happy with that result, even though we weren't able to find any of our list games. Here's a quick refresher for you guys on the titles that I'm still looking for in this video, if we can find a couple. So Josh, at this point, we're left with $172 in our fund. I'd say it's about time to make a little bit more, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> so folks, I'm back again in the iconic McDonald's parking lot to bum their Wi-Fi to do our daily whatnot auction of a couple GameCube games to build up our PlayStation fund. And since Josh and Haley are whatnot veterans, we're gonna have them help us out with the auction and let you guys do the honors of picking out the games from the mystery, mystery GameCube, GameCube box. box. All right, here you go. Any game you want, what are we auctioning? No pressure, this will determine the trajectory look, right? of the entire That's series, it. correct. Turok. He's got Turok Evolution. Embarrassingly, I accidentally bought two of those games in the GameCube Gambit, and so uh, this one's going up for auction today. And Haley, what's your mystery gonna be? Ooh, NFL, NFL Street. Street. Okay, that one should have a little bit more value. We'll see how much we end up getting for both. New, new, Look at them, they're doing such live, a great job up there. Bottom. Okay, so we got Turok on the Nintendo GameCube. All right, as he's doing that, I'm gonna let you guys know that on the seventh day, the seventh night of this challenge, when the video drops, we actually have a massive giveaway whatnot stream plan. At our last stop, I actually bought three more games for our whatnot giveaway bag, Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase. We got Woody the Woodpecker and also Dragon Ball GT final bout all going into the bag. Let's go ahead back up there and check what the game sold for. All right, Haley's Second going. One. What would the first one sell for? Fill me Th in. $35. $35 for Turok. That's very generous. Hey, thank you guys all so much and whatnot. This is apparently really, really cool. I know nothing about NFL Street. Thank okay, so, so this one sold for, you said less than Turok. Okay, $33. That's still an excellent price for that game. And if you guys at home have not downloaded whatnot yet, definitely check out the link in the description to get $10 off and to join us for the huge giveaway at the end is going to be an absolute blast. All right, folks, we're heading in here to our second stop, the games block, armed with $234, trying to find at least 11 games before the end of the day. All right, 
folks, so I have spied the PlayStation section right down here. Josh, you know the budget that we have. Uh, I don't. 200 and what? <laughs> it's 234 dollars. Well, actually, maybe we shouldn't say it for negotiating. No, just kidding. We've got 234 dollars to spend here. I want you and Haley each just to pick out a game that catches your eye. Okay. Right. And it'll be in the collection forever. Or until you sell it. SpongeBob. That's the same game that we. Oh, and that's way cheaper than the last yeah, store this was too. Six dollars. <laughs> that store was what twelve ninety nine. Yeah, I think it was thirteen. That's crazy. Okay, how much? It, ooh, thirteen. Yeah. I think that's that it. That might be meant to be. Meant to be. Yeah. Haley, you're up. I don't even know. You could take Josh's advice and just go for the first green one that you Greatest see. <laughs> I'll let you know if I already yeah, have I it. Let's see. What'd you find here? Medal, Medal of Honor Underground. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and eight dollars too. That's black label. That that's a great. That one looks cool. Okay. Yeah. Let's go for that. That's yeah. a good selection. And you guys know the other thing I'm always looking for is those random items that do better for me on Amazon than they normally would in store that'll have a little bit of room to build our budget by flipping them. For example, I know this Game Shark Pro priced at $26. I've sold for $60 on Amazon before, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Right now, I'm not seeing anything else in this section that I have on my list of either nostalgic games or games that you guys recommended for me from this section, but anytime I can find something that looks somewhat fun that's a good deal, I'm gonna pull the trigger. For example, 10 pin alley for some reason I've considered getting a couple times I don't know why I just like the idea of a PlayStation bowling game so I think I'm gonna get it for eight bucks escape or die trying how can I not oh you guys remember yesterday when we put an army men game back let's see oh nine bucks that's perfect with the Italian job another little racing game maybe five bucks that seems like a solid deal Oh, folks, there's another little gem there that you know we've bought before, a Game Boy Color Game Shark. I guess today is just a Game Shark day on the flip side. So here's the higher dollar PS1 section here, folks, which has definitely caught my eye. They've got a couple gems in here that we've gotten in the collection already. Spyro, Tekken, Castlevania, believe it or not, Final Fantasy. So some excellent selection. I'm not so far seeing anything in here. Ooh. That one's interesting. Akui the Heartless, I don't think I've seen yet. That actually, or no, Akuji. I've never heard of that game, but I'm kind of interested. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, I'm not I'm not seeing anything that we need from our list, but I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about that Akuji. I'm, I don't know, I'm on the fence. This is definitely has some potential. Do you guys know if this has like the dongles and everything in it? It does. Do you guys, do you know if you have a copy of the game that I could maybe do buy and put in with it? I think I do. Looks like this one's actually unused. Y'all don't have um, like any batteries I could throw in here, do you, instead of the corroded ones? Yeah. Okay, yeah, if y'all wanted to do that, I think I think I would go ahead and do this. All right, folks, so I made the last minute judgment call to pass up on the more expensive games in favor of getting us a couple more lower dollar games to fill out our numbers, because remember, we're trying to get to 100 by day seven. I got uh, Daredevil Derby 3D, because I thought for five bucks, that sounded like a steal, and Creatures, because I thought this, this little guy looked like a cursed baby. So <laughs> I figured he just, he called to me, what can I say? Ah! All right, folks, quick little backseat recap here. We got not one, not two, but eight PlayStation 1, low-dollar PlayStation 1 games. In addition to the three that we got at the first stop, that puts us at 11 games for the day. Feeling really good about that. We spent a total of, I think it was like 57 or something dollars, but when you factor in the profit that we'll make on both of these Game Sharks and this Guitar Hero Live, granted, I do need to find the actual game to bundle with this, so I'm gonna be looking for that in future stops. We actually, for that stop, when you factor in the profit from these and the expenses on these are positive $16 for the challenge, which puts us at a total PlayStation budget of $250 going into our final store of the day which is incredible and folks our final stop of the day is scratch and spin Josh what's your prediction uh, predicting uh, success same I love the positivity up in here All right, so I have officially found the video game section in the store, but the problem is I'm not seeing right now any PlayStation 1 stuff. There's a bunch of PS3, PS2, but where could the PS1 be? All right, we have arrived. All right, so they definitely have a not bad selection over here. It's not huge, but I'm curious to see whether they may have any of the gems that I've been looking for. Josh, look at this. We can't escape this game. Dragon Tales. 
Another one was Rayman, uh, oh, yeah. 20 bucks, not a bad price. And also this is one that I know was suggested a lot by people, even though I didn't technically like put it on the list because I only had 20 spots. But oh folks, I just saw something. Look at this, Josh, this one right up here. Tigger, this is on the list, it's on the list. Oh no! Oh, that is just, that's, that's so right. heartbreaking. <laughs> Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Another series that I definitely recognize is Pitfall here, $10. Believe it or not, I've never played a Pitfall game. So I think this one should go onto our stack as well. Also spotted this title, Sim Theme Park. Do you think this is like a roller coaster tycoon kind of a game? It seems like kind of similar. And let's be honest, folks, we've got $250 today. So let's just, let's just go ahead and get it. Ooh, Army Men 3D for 15 bucks. Nope, nope, forget about it. Not that rich. Oh, folks, check out that beauty right there, Lunar 2. I'm honestly glad that that's not Lunar 1, which is on our grail list because us. Uh, Spending $200 on a game right now would really stress me out. Oh my gosh, folks. 15 games, 15 games we're putting into the collection today. And even though none of them are specifically from the list of nostalgic games or the ones that you guys supplied me with, the fact that we were able to keep our average buy cost at right around $10 a piece was absolutely monstrous. And folks, doing everything with Josh and Haley just made it all twice as fun. If you have not subscribed to Harry Tornado, definitely go do that. He makes excellent reseller content. I haven't really been asking you guys to like or subscribe to these videos at all along the way. I just don't do that as much anymore. But if you have been enjoying this series at all and wouldn't mind sharing episode one with someone maybe that you played PlayStation with as a kid or that has their own PlayStation collection, that would mean a ton to me. Without further ado, folks, let's get this plastic displayed. It's, it's getting there. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but some of you guys might be even more excited for tomorrow's guest, so I will catch you guys tomorrow.